Hello, and welcome back to ARK. I am Wolfie, and as you can see, I have no armor, and inside my inventory, I've got next to nothing. I do have a steak egg, but that's pretty much it. In the previous episode, I died, and I was so far away from where I died that no matter how fast I was, I could not get back to my stuff in time. It was frustrating and sucks. So, I've got to get armor, and I've got to get my weapons back. Otherwise, I am way too vulnerable. As any good arc player knows, metal armor is key to survival. Also, a metal pike and a dart gun. And I had one of the best dart guns ever, because it came from the workshop. But... What came of it was a second, as you can see over here, a second Rex. And that Rex is currently 85. So it's, ooh, did it gain a level? I thought it, hmm, well, let's check. Ah, it did. So, what stats do we want to raise? Um, I'm thinking for right now. Let's just go with some health, and then we'll just pump the rest into stamina. But, in today's episode, I wanted to offer something a little different to you guys. A little bit of a challenge video. So, inside this challenge video, I have challenged Grandpa Joe to take under the task of placing as you guys can see all the way down at the bottom here placing doo -doo -doo, see that a star game since in the previous episode I went so incredibly far out to the point where when I died I could not get my stuff back no matter how fast I got there the only alternative would be a stargate because using that as long as I remember the code I can go from my base to an area closer to where I died and be able to get my stuff back. Hopefully I don't die again, but it's almost unavoidable in this survival scenario. And we did get a really cool Rex out of that, so can't complain all that much. But anyways, I will get my stuff in order and I will set everything up. And then when we come back, Grandpa Joe will take over and undergo the task of finding a good place to place this Stargate. Yeah, he thinks he knows it all. Just because I showed him the basics. So he knows how to fight and place items. But beyond that, he's kind of clueless. So... Hope you guys enjoy. It's probably gonna be chaotic. Alright, 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 yes, honey boy. I'm here now. I can take this, I got this, I know how it does, you stuff and you know, such. I can call me Grandpa Joe, you shunny. Yeah, all you. Folks in, uh, out there, Grandpa Joe, I've learned how to jump. Jumping is fun stuff and good times. I remember when I was a kid, we would jump for hours at a time. Because back then, what else were you supposed to do? There was no fangled video game stuff and things. You know, I'm 83 years old. You yeah, so, you know how it is. Sorry, but uh, it, it's just, I just can't wrap my mind around it. It is concept of video games. But apparently, my grandson seems to love them. So, I am now tasked with placing this darn doodle angle fangle thingy. In this here inventory, it is called 
uh, Saturday? And, and, and this thing next to it is called a, a, a zero point manual. Now, I don't know my sci fi stuff and things, but if I am accurate at even the slightest bit, I remember there was a movie at one point, and it was called Stargate. I don't know. But I think this might be some sort of reference to that movie and such and whatnot. I do remember in that movie we were fighting pyramids that could fly or stuff and such. I can tell you without a doubt if I saw a flying pyramid right now I would probably grab my pants. Well, then again, being 83, I grab my pants quite regularly. Whoa. Um. Uh. You didn't hear that. I. No, no. You didn't. You, no. You, you didn't. I didn't just say that. Nope, nope. So, um, uh, with any woo, uh, we are supposed to take this. This here. What do you call it? Pterodon. Oh, you are called a pterodon. Well, 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 all right then. We're gonna take out this pterodon. Uh, how do we get on you? I, is that a saddle? I, I, I think that is a saddle, boys and girls. Uh, now, how. Wait, I am recalling, I think he told me I need to place the base and stuff and whatnot thingies in here. But I, I don't quite know how. Don't tell him that. D don't you dare go down in them there comments and start telling him I don't know stuff. I'm the elder in this relationship. Not that little SOB thinks he knows how to stuff and things. I know better than him. I think we. We. Maybe we do that? Sure, that, that seemed like it did something. How about we do this now? Sure, okay, that did something too. And maybe a little bit of this now? Oh, that didn't do anything. And dead now? Uh oh. Did I? I didn't break it. He broke it. It wasn't my fault. I wasn't properly instructed. It wasn't my fault. I didn't break it. What in job, kids? I always blame the person next to you. Oh, except there's no one next to me. Damn it! Crap! Ah! Oh, well, with, anyways, let us. Whoa, it is big and round. Uh, it says it's a teleporter ring. Oh, almighty teleporter, please teleport me to another existence. In a plane very far away. Or not. That's fine, too. Please? How the hell do you work? I don't want to name you. I'm going to call you Bob. Bob the teleporter. If he can't make it work, no one can. Wait, that's not how it goes. It's, how does that go again? Man, I'm so forgetful. Screw you. Bob the Builder. I can build better than he can. Let's try placing this other... Oh, it's so pink. Up. Up. I said, God damn it, I want to go up. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> is that metal or is that wood? And I thought I was wearing metal boots. What the hell? Oh, it would have 
surmise that we can place it up here, kitties. How? Well, eh, without further stalling for stuff and things, we're going to place it right here in front of these big here metal lock boxes. Cool. Let us uh, see what it does. I know, kitties, but it's... Uh, ooh, it's all sci-fi and stuff. Takes me back to the 1950s when I was watching War of the World on the radio. You know, it caused mass hysteria and whatnot. Oh, I was told I have to write that number down. I better do that. Two, one, nine, six, five, and a seven. I think I did exactly what I was told. You kids these days, you don't do what you told. Grandpa always knows best. Why is it going through the ceiling? And the floor for that matter. Screw it, I don't care. Billy's just gonna have to accept the fact that I did it. I'm a little confused. There's so many buttons with symbols I've never seen before. Oh my god, what is this? It's a dial! Uh, I don't want to touch the dial. I have to ask it. Oh, is that what this is for? Oh my, I think it was. It's still not doing anything. Why? I want to climb down. How do I get off this ride? Down. Down. Don't. Uh. Okay, kitties. Stupid. Effing. You. You. I hate you, ladder. Man, back in my day, I remember when ladders, you just placed them up against stuff and you could climb them quite easily. That was ridiculous. Oh, magical teleporter. Please teleport me somewhere else. I give up. I, I just tried praying to it and it, it didn't even help. What? What the hell? It's giving me berries? What the hell? This teleporter can supply me with food. Oh my, we can pick up Bob. Whoa! Ah, what the hell? Holy crap, it went flying. I, uh, my heart can't take this kind of uh, stuff and things. Oh my, whoa. Uh, that kind of gave me a fright there, kids. G Grandpa Joe just doesn't have the heart that he used to. You know, it's it's kind of become a bum chick over the years. Do we place the stuff up here? Well, we can. So why the hell not? It, maybe if we pray to it again, it might give us some food. You know, back in my day when I was a little kid, we prayed to stuff and they just magically gave us food. Because, you know, we didn't have technology back then, kids. So, well, let's give it one more try, shall we? Oh, magical teleporter. Please teleport me places. Nope. Not working this time, honey. Oh boy, you're a big dino, aren't you? Oh, and that was a mondo boop. 
Well now. Somebody's been taking their fiber tablets. But I think I am supposed to place this very far away from uh, that there place back there. Oh, where'd it go? No, I'm lost. This is like that one time when I was in the supermarket. I couldn't find her. I looked everywhere for Granny. What? What the hell? Oh no! There's another Illuminati thingy over there! Oh my! This game is... Is it based off of real life or something? Oh, I can fly again. Well, that's, that, that's good. I was kind of scared sitting on the ground. Oh my! This map! It's a terrible map! Oh my! Oh my! What is happening right now? I am being attacked by something that was snake-like! Oh my! Holy crap! I think I'm gonna... I, I was told not to die! Holy... Ah! What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh my god! It's, it's killing me! Ah! 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 Uh... Kids... I think I may have just died! I'm not quite... Oh! Well... There's the other half of you! Apparently it can protrude through things! How do I get down? So, apparently, at this point, I am supposed to take a T-Rex and go find my body. I think. I guess I should go do that. Okay, okay. So, apparently, I did a bad. I, I, I know this He's gonna be pissed at me. Billy's gonna be really pissed at me today. I I lost both his little flyer birdie thing, and I also lost his T-Rex. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I tried. I, I can't find it. They need some sort of doodaddy to help you find your 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 flyer thingy. I got attacked. I fell asleep, and my birdie went flying away. Okay, folks. We're gonna try this one more time. I've been at this for quite a while. I had to have Billy come in and tell me how to build everything. It was a lot more complicated than I thought. But I, being the grandpa I am, I know better than to just give up. Oh, Joe, that T-Rex is totally hosed. I don't know where I lost him. But anyways, we got to still get ourselves out there and place this here thingamabobble. What the hell is that thing down there? I have never seen one of those before. What does it do? Ah! Run away! Run away! Ah! Run away! Oh my god! Run! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, kids! I think I just pulled a little. Oh! Oh my! I, I, I just wanted a closer look. Oh, oh my! My heart! Oh! It, it's like ticking out of my chest! Oh! All right, kitties. This seems like the best place to put anything. I was told I had to put this sort of... What the hell's going on over there? Well, as long as they... Oh, no. Oh, my. No. And now, I think I'm just supposed to place it on job. If that there dino gets too close... It's gonna hurt us. I don't want to die. 
I'm not ready to die. I will not go into the darkness with ease. I will go kicking and screaming and fighting. Just like I did during World War II. When I was fighting them there, people, zombies, you know, at Wolfenstein's castle. I would give them a big old headshot to the face. They would get right back up. Then I would have to deliver another. They called me King of Zombies. I even got a medal for it. Oh my god! Did it work? I was told to not leave my dino behind when I do this. I'm gonna play it smart, kids. Oh, I'm also forgetting I was told to write down this number two. So let's... It's gone. What, what, what the hell? Let's try that again. That is incredible every time. Can we fly through? Holy crap, Jacks, we can. And now we're back. I did it just like he told Whoa, the blue light. It's like a J.J. Abrams movie up in here. I'll leave it up to Billy to find his D-Rex. Dad was such a yo beast. I hope he finds his Rex. I was also told to say, please like and... Well, what is to say? Hold on, hold on. I gotta get out my reading glasses. Just give me a sec, give me a sec. Oh my, whoa, 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 Millie, whoa. Oh, okay, okay. It says, please like and subscribe for more if you're enjoying. And stay tuned for the next episode on Thursday where Grandma Margaret He's gonna find out what the hell a giant megalodon is. I hear it's quite the doozy. Oh, and I'm also supposed to say, she lay.